Hey guys, it's me, Abby, and today is part three and the final part of It Isn't Fun Being Harassed, or whatever I called it. Um, today, we're going to be looking at Donna's page. So, she has mostly been going after my mom calling her a narcissist and after our dogs. Now, like I said before, we adopted two senior dogs that have no teeth. Um, Presley... He's a black Pomeranian. He had a gum disease, so they had to take his teeth out. And Daisy's a white Pomeranian. She's almost 13. Her teeth just fell out because she was old. So the first one that I found here, um, which this isn't like the first time that she started it, but as far back as I could go, uh, she posted a dog with teeth. And then she posted a gif of a pug with teeth saying doggy dents. And um, let's see here. Um, this one's another one saying, Daddy said we looked pretty with our new teeth. Mama said we looked pretty either way, which is another one towards our dogs. Um, this one, she said, uh, this one says, I am sick of people thinking deodorant is optional. Um, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's not about us. Um, okay, here we go. Sorry. This one, um, this, she posted a picture saying sometimes the best thing to do is say nothing at all and let God fight your battle for you. Amen. And she said, most definitely let God, i.e. Goob and somebody fight your battle for you. Hypocrisy at its best. And Denny said, you mean the antichrists? She doesn't love her Jesus. Remember how many times has she said it? Um, which is not true. Like I said, my family and I are big in our church and um so he called my mom the antichrist basically and he uh she posted this saying a strong woman doesn't seek revenge she moves on and lets karma do her dirty work and um uh she posted most definitely let karma karma i.e goob and somebody do the dirty work for you hypocrisy at its best so much for the strong women po part of the post um denny said carmen who I don't understand why. Um, let's see here. Then, um, okay, so she posted a picture saying, people will pr provoke you until they bring out your ugly side then play victim when you go there. And she said, extremely true. I prefer to call them trolls. They lie so much they actually believe themselves, dealing with a few of them now. And somebody just commented, yep. And then another one saying, doggy dents. Some dogs got them, some don't. And Denny said, and some dent, which I don't really get. And then she said, a narcissist at home and a narcissist out in public. And she said, yep, that's about it, which is a hit towards my mom. And um, Denny said, you mean at the free and clear all paid for home she ain't living in? she ain't leaving because he um wants to run us out of the neighborhood and he's saying that that's our house which is not um sure we're remodeling right now so it isn't that it isn't the nicest house on the street but it's one of the better ones um it's better than his <laughs> And, um, he, she posted this picture saying, Mom, please tell me I take after your side of the family. And she said, who's that? Remind you of Denny Fry. Just curious, LMAO. Which, um, the guy in the tree is a, um, knock towards my stepdad. And Denny said, I don't see the lawnmower without the blade turned on. Which I don't get. And she posted a picture saying, I wish people were like money, so you could hold them up to the light to see which ones are real and which ones are fake. And she said, it sure would be nice. And one of their friends said, yep, but you never find out until later. Another one that says doggy dentures. And Danny said, hallelujah. You. Um, let's see here. She said, argue, uh, this is a picture that she posted, and it says, arguing with idiots is like playing chess with a pigeon. No matter how good you are, the bird is going to shit on the board and strut around like it won anyway. And she said, I rest my case. And then he said, just FYI, a bird pisses and shits out of the same hole. Google it. Which is a knock towards my mom. And she posted a picture saying, as I watch this generation try to rewrite history, one thing I'm sure of, it will be misspelled and have no punctuation. And she said, for sure. 
Um, and then this one is a knock towards us also. She said, um, this is a picture that she posted saying, it doesn't matter how many Sundays you sit in church and, or if you think you're saved, God sees what you do and how you treat people. That's what really matters. And, um, then he said, yeah, brothers and sisters. Um, oops, oops. <laughs> and then another one for doggy dentures. And another one. And then she um, posted this picture saying it was my stepdad, which it isn't. And um, um, this says, um, she posted a picture saying, Narcissists don't co-parent, they counter-parent. They don't care about the collateral emotional damage done to the children, as long as it hurts you. And she said, what a profound statement, a must-read for all. Um... And she picks it a thing of a troll saying me three because my mom had something on her um, Facebook about that. About like saying me three or something. And she said, oops, I'll turn that off. <laughs> um, she posted something saying sometimes no matter how nice you are, how kind you are, how caring you are, how loving you are, it just isn't enough for some people. And she said, so very true. And the minute you stop jumping up every time they call, your name becomes mud. Trust me, we know. And yeah. Um, she's, uh, then she posted a picture saying, everybody in church ain't good, everybody in jail ain't bad, and everybody in your face ain't your friend, and she said, so very true. Um, then this, she posted a picture saying, I'm not sure how you have your foot in your mouth, head in your ass, and nose in my business, yet here we are, you effing wizard. And she said, does this remind you of anyone? And then he said, oh, hell yeah, with a freaking ring which is a knock towards my mom. And she said, have you ever met someone so stupid you felt bad for their dog? And she said, hmm, let me think. And then Denny said, or more than one, like two, because we have two dogs. We actually have two dogs and three cats, but I don't think they know that we got two more cats. I think um, we had, we used to have two, um, but one passed away, so we got two more. So yeah. And she posted another gif with a dog saying, I got my new two for today, ain't they pretty? Um, and then she um, posted a picture saying, all narcissists are hypocrites, and a hypocrite is worse than a liar. Liars lie to avoid the negative consequences of their behavior. While hypocrites are manipulative, deceitful, chaos cre creating liars that hide behind a boiler than thou moral mask, righteously pointing the finger at the faults of others to conceal their repulsive moral defects. And she said, karma coming, just wait and see. And then Denny said, though, though true. And then she posted a picture saying, I should be giving an award for keeping my mouth shut when there is so much that needs to be said. And she said, really? And then uh, Denny said, deserves a medal of honor, unless you're a correspondence school count school student and you're, and you're doing a medal of honor. Um, he's saying correspondence school counts uh, student and stuff like that because of um, I am cyber schooled. And I told my counselor what has been going on, and my mom posted it on Facebook saying that she was proud of me for telling my um, counselor about cyberbullying, because we were talking about that in my homeroom class, and um, he found out about it and started harassing me over that. And um, she posted a status saying, Facebook is like having lying neighbors that hate you so bad that they block you for over a year. Then all of a sudden you're unblocked for the sole purpose of stalking your Facebook page and harassing you. Then after they start 10 brands of shit the va that with the neighbors and they hate, they cry victim. Then he said, touche, so true. What a bunch of side holes, you know, when you don't have an ass. Um, yeah. And then uh, February 1st of uh, this year, she posted, some people can't stand you only because they can't, um, they can't stand you telling them the unvarnished truth and sharing the go ghosts in their closet. This was a post from April 17th, 2015. Okay, so I found four kittens that are three weeks old at the side of the road off of River Road in Wampum. I am getting formula and bottles for them now because they don't... <clears throat> even have teeth yet thankfully the piece of shit that left them out in the hot sun in a box to die left their name and address of the shipping label on the box i already called a humane officer this is true pictures like screenshots don't lie but the thing is 
they have a picture of a box of kittens and my address on it. Um, but that doesn't really mean anything because they don't have a picture of the box of kittens with the address on it. They have two separate pictures. Here, let me show you. This is a picture of a box of kittens. See? Don't see any address on it. I'm obviously not going to show you my address because that's just... Yeah. One of their friends said, thanks for me. All those kittens lived and got new homes. And Donna said, you have a sixth sense for finding animals in distress. We will never doubt you. Denny said, uncanny is the only word to describe your gift. You sure your name isn't Doolittle? And their friend said, nope, I just got a gut feeling and I follow it. And Denny said, well, you're a seldom wrong lady. And um, Donna reposted that on March 27th and said, just thought I'd share this little piece of info once again. And, um, one of their friends said, keep sharing this, honey. Um, and then she posted a picture saying, be careful who you open up to. Only a few people actually care. The rest just want to have something to gossip about. And she said, not only will they take your words and spread them like wildfire, the demons in their head, heart and soul will twist the facts to their, to fit their demented mind. There is no cure, not even Jesus. And Denny said, thou to speak true. It's a defect in the soul when the Med profession yanks your brain out through a side bag mounted hole. Um, let's see here. I'm going to do one more, then I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the last one that I'm going to be doing for part three, and then I'm going to show you some pictures of them just so you can see what we're dealing with. Um, she's uh, She posted some screenshots of my mom saying thank you to them when she was sick. I'm not going to show you the screenshots because I do have, um, I don't have any consent for um, showing names, but um, yeah. She said, even if you heard a bad story about me, understand that there was a time that I was t good to those people too, but they won't tell you that. FYI, I like screenshots too. And because my mom said a huge thank you to Donna Owens, who stopped in for me at the girls' recital while I was in the ER. Also, thank you to somebody for taking me to her guitar recital and taking them to my mom's. And Donna said, that's what friends are, are for. Have always felt more like an aunt to those girls, and there isn't anything I wouldn't do for them or you. Their performances were awesome, especially considering the fact that their mom is sick and doesn't seem to be getting better. So glad they were able to diagnose your problem and hopefully correct it so that you won't have to suffer with this anymore. So, like I said in the past two videos, they were really good friend of, friends of ours. Like, they stepped in to help us at the dance recital of 17 when my mom was sick. Um... So Denny said, notice how none of Bad Hag's disciples had nothing to comment about this piece of truth. And Donna said, the truth will set you free. And Denny said, I heard that some evil people's tongues will catch fire with the truth. Maybe that's why the neighbors absolutely won't tell them the truth. Fire. And yeah. The next thing is, I'm going to show you their pictures because I just don't care. They need to be locked up for a long time because of how they are. I mean, they literally put up pictures of our house. Like I said, we have been cleaning up the yard. Our garage collapsed this, collapsed this summer. We have been cleaning up our yard slowly, and the, um, the township knows that we've been cleaning up our yard, so, but he's been posting pictures of our yard and stuff, and, um, even one time, for me, okay, this is, I know, this is from a little while before, but this one says, countdown to an availability, 945 days to gastric bypass. He said, like, mother, like, daughter, shake my head. Because my mom had a gastric bypass, so he's saying that I have to get one. I'm going to have to get one. This is him. And let me see if I can find one of her. I should be able to. This is her. This is what we've been dealing with for over a year now, for about a year and a half. 
thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.